how Hercules got his lion cape. Most art that shows the heroes of Greek mythology looks fairly similar. While the monsters they fight are different, the heroes themselves all have similar weapons, armor, and features. Heracles, often known as Hercules in the contemporary world, stands out among the other heroes. He is nearly invariably depicted with cruder weaponry, and most notably, a lion's skin slung over his shoulders and head in place of standard armor. The skin of the Nemean lion sets Hercules apart in Greek and Roman art, but it might also provide some clues as to his historic or prehistoric origins. You see, Hercules was the byproduct of Zeus's affair with Alcmene, and as always, his wife Hera got jealous and wanted to take revenge. Not on Zeus, but on the kid. She had tried killing him when he was born, but failed, so she set up 12 seemingly impossible tasks for him to do, called 12 Labors of Hercules. Hercules' first task was to slaughter the Nemean lion. For many years, the gigantic monster had hunted in the Nemea region of northern Greece. When Hercules came into the area, the villagers were terrified of the lion. A small child warned the hero that if the lion was not killed, he was willing to give himself as a sacrifice to Zeus to cease the lion's terrible hunts. Hercules tracked the beast to a mountain valley and pelted it with arrows. He did not know, however, that the lion's hide was impervious to iron. Hercules sealed one of the cave's two openings to prevent the lion from leaving, then followed it into the other. He fought the lion again there. He struck the lion over the head with his big club, yet the animal was unharmed. Its hide was so thick that it repelled the club's strike. Hercules threw his weapon to the side since he had no other means to battle the beast. He wrestled the lion to the ground by wrapping his arms around its neck. Hercules killed the lion by strangling it with his bare hands rather than hurting it with his weapons. After it was dead, Hercules realized that the lion's pelt was a precious material. If it could protect the Nemean lion from virtually any weapon, it could offer the same protection after the lion had died. Hercules attempted to skin the lion, but his blades proved worthless against the thick hide. Luckily for him, the goddess of wisdom was his patroness. Athena told him that weapons could not harm the lion's hide, but that the lion itself was strong enough to damage the thick skin. Hercules pierced the skin with the lion's claws and took the pelt from the beast. He slung it over his shoulders, creating an ugly yet protective cloak. In Greek art, the pelt of the Nemean lion became one of the hero's most identifying qualities. Qualities. While other characters wore gleaming armor and elaborate helmets, Hercules was protected by a rugged hide with the lion's head pulled up around his own. 